Hi folks, I'm gonna make a little dolly or a little trolley for the Reliant Regal so that I can wheel it about. So keep watching and I'll show you what I'm gonna come up with. Right, okay then, so today's little project is to build this little dolly or trolley with wheels on so that I can roll the Reliant Regal shell about down uh, the Jimmy Spray booth. But uh, first of all, I've got these um, hinge brackets here which I took off the car, and these are gonna need refurbishment because they're really, really stiff. As you can see, you can't really move them at all. And here's the, the hinges where they're actually tight and it'll be there in these pin areas here. Now I can force them open, oh, that one's very very very, very tight look, as you can see, but it does slightly move but some of these are really tight. Now I'm going to sandblast these but that will only get the outer rust off obviously and uh, I really need to get that pin lubricated inside so I'm going to soak these in distilled vinegar, white vinegar, and I'm hoping that will penetrate the actual pin and that will lose some things off and then I can obviously lubricate them as well. So these things also come with shims on them as well. I don't know whether you can uh, see them here, but I'm not going to take it off, but underneath here, some of these had shims there. As you can see, I've just taped them on. This one had three shims in, for example, and I've left them in the correct order. So this is the bottom right hinge on the right-hand side. Top left there, again top right, and again bottom left. So, as I say, they are very stiff, but... They should be recoverable, I'm, I'm hoping so anyway. Failing that, I'll have to get another pair off. Well, this one looks a little bit bent there, actually, if I just show you. It looks like this one's been under some sort of strain, so I may try and clamp that back together and then obviously try and lubricate it, but failing that, I may be looking for some new ones anyway. So that's that. Right, so I've got this. I've only got some rough batten floating about outside. I'm only going to use what I'm going to use, so it's not really worth me giving you the dimensions of the wood because you may have different wood, whatever, but I'll try and give you the overall dimensions as I'm doing it, uh, in case you want to build a similar one out of whatever wood you've got. So let's get outside now, see what I've got floating about, and let's get it cut to size. Right, okay then, so again, I'm just making do with what I've got. I took a few measurements of the uh, underneath of the chassis, basically, and what I've come up with is that on the two different levels, because the, the chassis steps up, and the longest bit, which is the main part of the chassis, needs to be 46 inches or three foot 10. And then it comes up at the back and then goes along to under the, where the, uh, the back of the van is. And I need three foot in length there. So basically what I need, that's 82 inches long that needs to be. And I'll need one base plate on each side. So I just need two of them, both 82 inches long. There we go. So I'm just gonna whip them through the cutter now and then uh, we'll attach the wheels to them. Right, that's that, so let's put some wheels on the bottom of them and then we can start making up the rest of the frame. Right, well, ideally, I've just, as I say, I've had these coasters uh, floating about. Now, ideally, I'd want these ones because they're ideal to go on the bottom there, as you can see, and fix on there like that. So I've only got two of these type. So I've got to try and think of a way to get these to fix through there yet. I'm not too quite sure yet how I'm gonna do that. I may have to put some sort of plate on there, I'm not sure, but um, for the moment, I'm just going to put these on as best I can. I'll put you on time lapse and I'll see you in a minute.
Right, okay then, so as you can see at the moment, we've basically got our framework built up now, either side, and then I've got to join these two together. I'm struggling because I haven't quite got the right size wood. I think these are about three by twos at the moment, which I'm using, or the metric equivalent actually. And um, the front of the van, which will be sitting on this part, which is the lower part of the van, from the end to when it steps up, that is overall to the outside 46 inches. So the front run then steps up at the back, so it's 46 inches, then it goes up seven and a half inches, and then along to the back 30, uh, 36 inches which is three foot. So we've just cut these to length now. So these are gonna sit at the end there like that. And then we need one piece just to sit on the top there and square up like that. Once you've done this to both sides, then it's just a matter of joining the two together um, to make a sort of a box section. And then I might throw the odd diagonal in and then that should be it. So I'm just gonna carry on and finish this off now and I'll see you in a minute. This is the last bit I'm going to do today because the wood's bent and warped and all that. Um, I'm having to pull things into line, but that's not a problem. Our overall measurements should be correct. So I'm just going to zip these last screws in here. I will have to strengthen this lot up as well. These screws ain't going to be strong after all it. But, uh... Okay then, I hope you can see the uh, basic frame layout, what we've got there. Right, so what we've got here now, this is gonna be the actual dimension. The outside to the outside of the chassis, to there, that's 33 inches wide. We've got the back part of the section, which is three foot exactly. And the front part of the section, chassis is 46 inches till it goes up so we're hoping that this is going to be ideal and uh, if not we'll have to alter it right I can't do no more now I've decided not to use these casters these ones here I've had I'm going to go down and buy another two casters and fit them on they're easier to screw on the underneath and that should hopefully should be it once I've got some strengthening bits across and maybe the odd diagonal in there so I'm gonna leave this here for now just just to let you see what we're up to I've got to get some white vinegar and I'm gonna put them hinges in soak and see if they free up over the next couple of days. So that's all for this one. Not much Reliant Regal stuff on here, I'm afraid, but uh, it's this sort of thing you gotta do. This just makes life a lot easier when we're wheeling it about down a unit. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again in the next video, and until then, bye for now.